Hey friends, it's been a while since I checked in last. Had uh, one of my old clients check in on some of my newer work, one of my first clients, and mention I should split my personal talking from my professional content. Thus, here I am. Don't call peaches. Rambling while I walk as I used to and how it all once began for my content creation. So, let's just step into it, guys. It's, uh, it's been an interesting go. Um, last videos I discussed. Quit rubbing on the guy. Just gave him a little foot correction there because he's rubbing on my leg as I walked. It's just been a freak this entire walk, man. <sighs> he comes down quick enough. He's just constantly getting revved up about things. Anyways, last video in this account discussing my uh, switch to intermittent fasting, which has been going pretty good. I generally don't eat breakfast, so I'm kind of naturally running in, inter in the intermittent fasting range. It's just challenge for me to get enough protein to actually get the uh, the recovery benefits that I'm hoping for but uh, you know, I'm up and walking and I'm no longer really wondering about the function of my legs so the fact that that quickly died off my nerves are okay I think it really did help probably nutrition switch also uh, so intermittent fasting is going good but I basically gave up on the quitting smoking while I was going through my web page transition, which it didn't go anywhere near as smooth as I would have liked it, but it's up and functional now. Um, for anybody that's wondering about the outstanding invoices and any alerts that you might be getting about those, just ignore them. We're working out the finer details of which uh, payments were missed, and uh, I'll push a new invoice on the new site for anything that's outstanding. So. Just uh, pay attention to the new site. That's all that really matters. Um, but yeah, I I could not function trying to quit smoking with all the added stress and trying to learn. The, the learning basically gets shut off. I realized as soon as I try to quit smoking, um, likely because I'm weaning myself off too quickly, but I, uh, I will try again, just not for right now. In the pack today, I got Frankie, we got Peaches, Mariner Bo, the Pretty, and Kai, the bugger, jumping on me constantly, hates the camera. Yeah, yeah, you hate the camera, don't you? <laughs> And Austin and Jelly, they're off leash tailing on behind us because they're walking the tracks and they do good. I left Jerry at home. Uh, he was not into it today. He had a pretty hard day yesterday. Taking him out to walk with Bingo and gave him a good, good backup. And uh, you can see the extra emphasis that he put into it took out all that he had for the day. So today he was not interested in getting out, expecting it to be uh, a walk with Bingo. So I brought the pack back home and uh, let Jerry hop out at home, relax in the trailer, and I'm out with the pack on the tracks, enjoying all the sniffs. It's a good place to uh, work on structured leash walking and uh, still be able to get lots of sniffs in. It's uh, almost better than the park in some regards. They, they get about the same uh, amount of input. Kai, there you go. <laughs> he got his foot caught in the leash. They get about the same amount of uh, stimulus from you know, sniffing and uh, just the transition of all the different 
uh, turfs and trying to walk together across the, the tracks is a bit of a challenge for them because they have to step on logs or between or constantly calculate their steps. Uh, so in that regard, it's a lot of stimulus and a lot of thought energy being expended for a very kind of relaxed pace walk. Now let's talk about some of the updates and changes to the webpage. I've uh, launched the new design, thanks to Educator, I mentioned that already. Figure uh, mentioned it on this count as well. It's looking great, working all right. Um, have the overnight sittings and drop-in sittings uh, booking appropriately. Need to make some fine tuning um, and hopefully try to figure out how to relabel the adults and children on the overnight sittings because I'm using the Wix hotel app so it actually gives a start and end date book in leaving and uh, it it just happens to not really link up with my calendar which is a minor thing watch for the email when it comes in and mark it manually um, so I'm not doing multiples in a day. It's pretty minor. Mark it once for a sitting. And uh, if I can relabel those things, then I'll appropriately be able to get people to clock in who their pets are. You know, so change the adults to dogs because that's the important one. And then children to cats. And then you can mark it and give us names. So then when you book, I get all the appropriate information without having to be extra steps. Um, yeah, so dog walking's all booked. I've started adding pricing plans for walks and uh, for training packages. Um, the, the form is starting to function as it should. I was having issues with posting, but it's now being uh, utilized for the training correlation, private correlation with details so I can link everybody to the appropriate event or service as well as add the images and video and add other members to the group if I need extra input, thinking if I have an associate that is going to service them or whatever, they could be added to the files so that they see what our training plan is. Um, get caught up on it all without having to really dig any further. It'll all be laid out nice there in the form in the private section. Uh, I just need to have the team add those forum post updates onto the main members, kind of like profile page or something like that. So it pops up for them. Uh, so when you go to your member thing, you'll see when there's an update rather than having to go to the forum and find it. Uh, I think I can set it so that a notification will pop up every time I make a new post. So then you just have to click your notification window. Um, but again, I have to talk to the devs for that to fine tune it. Groups are started training group has started, needs a bit more refinement, I'm going to be making more posts along with blog posts to go with all the training plan uh, as extras. Um, yeah, a lot going on all at once, it's all coming together. My next real project is, uh, good job guys, you ignore it, good, that's good for you. Did you go, Paul? Don't jump. Thank you. Okay. okay.
Yes, we're being barked at. No, don't get excited about it. One exciting, I guess two exciting updates. Started a giveaway, a t-shirt giveaway for our uh, event attendees. And uh, announcement is available in the group. And then we have landed sponsorship for our event um, from Active Reactive Fields, essentially sponsoring the use of their facility for free so that we can uh, go and try off leash for the first time and hopefully do well. From there, add them to the the t-shirt designs going forward as a, a thank you and help raise awareness for their services as, as well as encourage them to promote our event since I'm certain a lot of the people that would be coming there would love the opportunity to socialize uh, in a controlled environment um, but real world scenario so it's not just a, a group fenced in area you actually go out real world Portage Park and work on the misbehavior and the final change to the page is adding online courses again um, putting together my first course outline uh, having a hard time deciding what it should be i think i am settling on the slip lead uh, basics basically to understand when and how to utilize the slip lead appropriately uh, what age you should use it what age you shouldn't all of that jazz the various different styles of slip lead, my experience with them, and then suggestions relative to design and function, uh, the various methods of uh, anchoring it on the dog, so you put it around the neck or as in a halty or a gentle leader method, uh, so on and so forth. Probably after that I would likely be looking at doing a uh, puppy class since it seems to be what I'm getting a lot of interest for now that my web page is live and actually drawing in attention um, and rescues. So those are going to be the two angles that I take is the rescue dogs and the puppies and likely designing courses tailored to each side rather than doing a general use course and then finishing off with anybody that graduates the course gets like the free, I don't know, free virtual follow-up session. I don't know what to call it, the debriefing uh, to cover any of your questions and make sure that you're confident with what you've learned and cover anything that wasn't covered specific to your dog's needs. Now going forward on this account, you're gonna be able to find these random kind of talks maybe more behind the scenes sort of footage, things that I don't mind sharing with my public, but I don't want necessarily associated to my professional account, to my brand, uh, more of the training stuff and anything that would be training related for instructional and learning purposes, likely to keep behind a paywall, um, might use YouTube depending see how my web page hosting goes uh, but behind a paywall so hopefully encourage a little bit of earning for money that's talking more like how to videos on the main uh, your human account and uh, if not posted directly to like my blog and to the group and then creating uh, highlight and, and promotional videos from that to encourage you to click through. So have two of 10 tips for bringing a rescue dog owner or a rescue dog home to a house that already has a dog, things like that. And uh, keep it going forward, professional on the Your Human account, anything promotional over there and these more personal talks and the, 
behind the scenes footage public here that that I'm wanting to highlight, like today's walk, showing you the them not wanting to listen while there's dogs barking at us and how it's handled in kind of a gentle manner. So we're not really given a full correction, but we're still getting some responsiveness to slowly bring them back down, that kind of idea. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can get this account grown again. Much love, guys.